probably the biggest challenge was how, how do we how do we uh, go further? How do we one up ourselves from the first game? Um, and uh, so we looked at all different facets of the game, all the things that we did well, all the things that we thought we could improve upon, and decided to let let's improve upon all of those, including the ones that we did well. So uh, we're really excited to to show people. Uh, where Borderlands is going. Uh, variety of enemies is something that we identified as well that we wanted to improve upon and so uh, that's a, been a big focus for, for our efforts and we've pretty much we've doubled the amount of enemies that uh, different types of enemies that you'll see uh, in Borderlands 2 compared to the first game as well as each one of those just like the first game having many different variants that bring different types of gameplay. We're uh, improving the, the fast travel system that was sort of our teleport around the world system. We're improving that, integrating that better with the map, having more stations, things of that nature. As well, of course, our vehicles uh, you know, are the other means for getting around the world quickly. And we have lots of improvements in the way the vehicles move, the way they feel, the way they handle, um, as well as the ca weapon capabilities and how many players can, can pile on. We have four player vehicles and even the riders are going to be able to shoot from the from the vehicle and, and either use built-in weapons or use their own weapons that they've collected. All of these sorts of things should should help uh, improve the, the travel experience in Borderlands 2. We needed to go further with the guns. How do we improve upon, uh, upon the guns? One of the areas that we're spending a lot of effort we're really excited about is the visuals of the weapon. A lot, the, all the different weapon manufacturers have their own visual style as well as uh, additional gameplay uh, elements that they bring. They still have all those statistical nuances that, uh, that were there in the first game, but a lot of those are, are now brought forward into the way the gun shoots when you pull the trigger, the way it sounds, the way it looks. Uh, you're really going to have a much stronger association with your gun and how it works and who made it. We're doing a lot of interesting things with sort of mixing uh, and finding ways to bring a lot of uh, varied feels and weapon types to the types that we already have. Um, so there's a lot more uh, a lot more over-the-top kind of weapons that you'll be finding in the game that assault rifles that feel like miniguns, um, guns that uh, can also double as grenades, things of this manner. Co-op is an extremely uh, important part of Borderlands. It's one of our biggest successful features and, and an area that, uh, that we feel we, uh, we really shine. And so allowing players to play together and, and knocking down as many barriers as we possibly can to allow more players to play, whether they're at different levels or at different parts of the story or doing different missions. We want to break down as many of those barriers as we can so more people can, uh, can enjoy the co-op experience. In Borderlands 2, we're really going to be exploring a lot more of the different uh, uh, regions of Pandora. We, we saw a lot of the desert regions of Pandora in the first game, and now we're going to start exploring a lot of other regions. We're going to explore some Arctic regions, we're going to explore some more temperate grassland kinds of regions, as well as some, uh, some additional uh, areas that, uh, uh, like caverns and cities and, and all kinds of things. The variety of, of the, the areas is dramatically uh, improved over the first game. And, uh, and along with those, of course, the, the enemies that live there. And uh, we're doing a lot of effort to uh, change the way that characters look depending on where they are. So you kind of have the, uh, the snowy version of a, of a creature if he lives over here, or uh, the camouflage one that in, the, in the more lush areas. What I'm most proud of right now is, is the effort on, on the weapons and uh, bringing the, all the style and flair that Borderlands can bring um, to the weapons and the way they look and the way they feel and the way they sound. Uh, we're just making great strides there and uh, I can't wait for everyone to get their hands on it.